Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Red Room with Fat Faves. I'm Fat Faves, your host. And uh, today we've got a very special guest. No, it's not Susan Sarandon, although she did 60 old movies. Uh, it's not Susan Boyle, uh, because this guest can also sing, but there's a story behind her singing. Uh, please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Susan Lancaster. Yay! I finally got the right name. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So good to have you here. It's been a while, huh? Yeah, it's been a long while. I'm a, I am ai am a fan. Likewise. I have been a fan for the longest time. You know, there was a time when I used to play in a club, this specific club, that you used to come in with your best friend, Julia Rice. Okay. And I'll be like, she's here. There were a few clubs that we uh, yeah. frequented. This was still mine. I didn't go Back to the, mine because I, I you did with it? other people. No, oh, I was somebody else? Club. Other clubs, okay. other clubs, but anyway. I can't remember. Which I have club. a question for you. Sure, please. Why the red room? Oh, because we couldn't get a blue cloth and a blue couch. Otherwise, it would have been the blue room. Okay, Seriously? this is a low budget production. Okay. Okay. So we were discussing the show. We couldn't find a red room. The Feng Shui master said, rate the show very Ong la. Ah, okay. Ong. So yeah. we're hoping it's always still haven't got a sponsor. So yeah. Uh, by the way, the seven of you who are watching, your 150 <laughs> per click is coming in the mail, all right? Seven. Yeah, seven people right now. Right, we're okay. excited about oh, it. Oh, yeah. good. Hi, seven people. <laughs> we're trying to hit the big one O. Okay, got it. Yeah. Got it, got it. So, you know, I watched you in your first movie, Mechanic. Okay. Back in the day. I will never forget the scene. So I think it was played by Azmil Az. As Mustafa. Yes, yeah. in the mechanic. In the yeah, mechanic. In the mechanic. Uh, Outside. That was shot in Gomba. Oh, it was? Seriously. Wow, okay. So I remember the scene. He's under the car. You, Your car broke down. You came to look for a mechanic. He looks down and he sees your legs. That was my opening shot. People that was me because of my legs. That's exactly. It. Did you have to shave your legs for that scene? Um, actually, I don't really have very hairy legs. Really? Yeah. Wow, you're lucky. Do you want to tilt down? <laughs> Too Seven much trouble. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, oh wow! And then, and then he comes out, and this is it. This is it. He comes out of the, of under the car, from under the car, and then boom, Susan Lancaster. And at that point, I said, I have to be a mechanic. Seriously, yeah. Yeah, you were the hottest thing on the planet at that point. Thank you. You still are. Just, just <laughs> have a good save. <laughs> <thing. laughs> <laughs> Quick one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Actually, you know that time I couldn't speak a word of Barsa? I could tell. Shut up. <laughs> it was very um, kaku, a bit la, you know what I mean? No, it was bena be gila. Uh, but uh, Mr. H, Othman right. Hashem, who cut, he's my mentor. I mean, he's an amazing guy. He, uh, We had to all go for casting. And that time I was doing commercials because we had the Pan-Asian faces those days, right? Mm-hmm. For all the cigarettes and Correct. alcohol. Yes. <laughs> and uh, there's something he saw in me and I was still very doubtful because I didn't believe that I had anything that w- I never thought I would be an actor. Mm-hmm. I did theater in school, but mm-hmm. I was more the set designer. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, the building behind sets, the scenes, behind right. the scenes and painting and stuff. I like that kind of stuff. Right. You see. But he saw something in me and he said, I said, I can't, I can't speak the language yet, though I was learning anyway. Um, mm-hmm. He said, don't worry, I'll teach you. And it was because of him that he kept bringing me back into various shows that he right. produced, like Dua Champo Satu and all that stuff. My favorite sitcom back in the 90s. It was really cool. That you was know? really quite forward as well. Yeah, I mean, I I watched you because Sam was good, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this, I'm Sam. Here's my card. Yeah. I remember and that it line. Was, and then it was so liberal, mm-hmm. you know? It was. It was really We could liberal. get away with so much. And we were, we were subtly... Political as well, but we could get away with so much because people understood it and they knew it wasn't a dig. It was just us having being able to laugh at ourselves, absolutely, which absolutely. we can't now. Oh yeah, exactly. It's tough. That's why this show sure is okay. With no sponsor, <laughs> seven people, right? At that point, during Dua Chang Posatu, yeah, uh, you also did an album. Oh my God! Here we go. There we go. Right, you know where this is headed. Uh-huh, I mean, uh-huh. look. Yeah. Why would you, why would you not appear for the finals of 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 a live show when you've been nominated, you've been voted, and now you're going to come up on stage and sing, and boom, Susan Lancaster is not there. You remember that? Huh? Mm-hmm. I wasn't in the country. I was in Manila. Right. I, oh, really? I was in Manila representing Malaysia in the film festivals there. 
right. there was a bit of a mix-up. So you had no choice. But I then couldn't I couldn't fly back. But then I think that the station and the recording company at that time, mm-hmm. they never followed up. They never preempted me. Nothing. I just flew off and I didn't know what the hell was going on. And then I got phone calls on the day itself. Where are you? I'm like, what are you talking about? Wow. Okay. No rehearsals, nothing. So I was like, nobody's going to organize anything for me. Mm-hmm. I'm. This is something pressing. I'm mm-hmm. doing what I mm-hmm. want to do, which I'm passionate about, which is films. Right. And I was there with Sophia Jade, with Ida Narina, with Melissa Saila. We we're all represented. Yeah, I would Malaysia. be there too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, you're right. Exactly. Wow. So, but they banned you. Yeah. Are you still banned? I have no idea. You have no idea? Wow. So I want, did they get somebody to replace you? What happened? I have no idea. I really don't know. And you don't care to know? So it's Nobody know. reported back to me. Nobody bothered to pick up the phone and say what happened. Uh, either side. Nobody. Wow. How did the album do though? Pretty good. Really? Pretty good. Actually, pretty good. Wow. So, uh, I mean, okay. Uh, since the album did really well, why didn't you continue with, you know, music? Do you know, I love music. I've always loved music, but I've always loved listening to music more than performing it. I think vocally, I was meh. Okay, la, Ken. Mm, mm. I wanted to be Madonna. Seriously. Okay, man. I wanted to... Really? And I did... Hey, hello, my album. <laughs> the songs that I could dance to, I had a full backup team and we were dancing and singing I am going to look for this album and I'm going to play this on radio, okay? Uh, with the day... This comes out, you will you will actually hear a song from the album. So there were two Malay songs that did really, really well. Those are the ones okay. that went into, what was it called? Music, music. Thank you. There you go. But there were two English songs as well. All right. And I did a cover of Hey Jude. You, no way. Because I was crazy about Lisa Stans. Right. So oh, I did wow. Lisa Stans feel a ripoff of Hey Jude then. So you did a cover of a cover. Exactly. I covered her voice. She outdid did Millie Manili. <laughs> And because I love the song Hey Jude, and then I was talking to Razman, who is one of the most incredible produ- uh, music producers uh, I've ever met. Mm-hmm. But he's not around anymore. I think he also went... This Does. Is, cannot, you know? Mm-hmm. It's just hard. Mm-hmm. But he was the one who just pushed me and guide me, guided me throughout the whole recording and rehearsed with me on how to sing the songs. Because I was just a fledgling Tony Fernandez calls me is, come on, so let's do a album. album. I'm like, what? Really? <laughs> That's it. That's it. So I was like, young, right? Sure, right. let's go. Let's try. Well, he's he's like your Simon Cowell. He knows where the money's at. Because it was 2 plus 1 he was riding on, right? Exactly. You guys were huge back then. 2 I plus know, 1, know, do, it was do, 2, 2 plus 1, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. It was something I looked forward to every week. Yeah, I know. You know, you can't binge watch. Like these days, you, no. you, you binge no, watch, right? No, you had this to is... go home on time. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. So, so it kind of just without planning, it went like that. And he found Rasman, who was on the same wave, same wavelength as me. And we decided on this particular song. I had an amazing. I had uh, M Nasir who wrote songs for me. Wow. Hapsa Hassan who wrote lyrics. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Zainal Abedin wanted to do a cover of one of my songs. No way. Seriously, then. Wow. And he asked me, would you mind? I said, no, do it. My God, it would probably like really take off. Yeah, absolutely. Of yeah. course, that was just chatter. I don't think anything really happened, but that was during the first AIM Awards. Would you do it now? If well, somebody came up to you and said, Susan, let's do an album? God, no. No? No. Really? Why? Look at the kids out there nowadays who are so talented on YouTube and mm-hmm. whatever and still waiting to be found. Absolutely. Some will never be found. Exactly. So, yeah. No, even here, they deserve to be in the forefront. Mm-hmm. I'm happily. I can do. I can do harmony. I can do backup vocals. That's fine. Oh, okay. I'll do. I'll do stuff that if I have to, like on a show, and it, the character has to do something, then I'll do a performance. Fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm. I'm past that. Like a, Like like if I had to do a performance for a charity thing or whatever, I would. Right. This is for fun. Right, right. But don't even think of asking me to sing. <laughs> don't even think no, of asking me to sing. I wasn't going there. No, don't trust you. <laughs> I was, but I've changed my mind now. <laughs> but I would, but n- n- nothing to, nothing like an album or anything because 
I have got such talented friends who are now doing gigs in in clubs and mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. bars and stuff. Yeah, who deserve to do albums and yet. But you know, I know somebody just like that who who's in a club, uh, who's been doing gigs for the longest time. She? And, huh? She? Yeah. Uh huh. But you know, when is your album coming out? Oh, wait lah, coming. Wait lah, coming. It's been eleven years now. So there's a few of them. Yeah. And those are those. Then there's those that just go out there and blast out and put out an album. Yeah. And you're like. And then? Yeah. You know, because marketing and everything has to be planned. It has to be planned. It has to be planned. So so going back to the question, like, Mm -hmm. would I? Mm -hmm. I used to be a DJ, like you. Wow. Okay. That one I've heard of, but I... I used to work at the Go Down. No way. The Go Down in Lacquer. No, the go down. The go down in KL. Yes. Jake also used to go play. Before it became Baze. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, and the way You've been around. I've been around, <laughs> been around the world, and I, I, I. There you go. Um, where else disco in Hotel Malaya? Yeah, there, all those. I was one. I think I was one of the first girl DJs that time, and my mother nearly killed me. I'm but sure. anyway, because Yasmin Yusuf used to spin at Tin Mai, mm-hmm, so that mm-hmm. was her territory, mm-hmm. and I did all the underground clubs. underground clubs. Fun. Go down was real on the go. Fun. The music Fun. was insane. Yeah. It's beautiful. But but yeah, back in the day was there was a lot of R and B soul. Very type good of music, right? Yeah. Very, very and the clubs music. were cool. The clubs were cool. Very cool. I never knew that. Mm. I'm going to invite you one of these days to come and play. Can? Oh, yeah. not play la. Maybe sp- if I can mix one mm. vinyl, yeah, mate. So yeah, why not? We'll we'll try and hook that up. Because we do this thing called the Club Roots, where we take you back to the 80s and 90s. Yes. And we get the DJs from the 80s and 90s from your favorite clubs. Oh, you mean for radio? For radio, but and yeah. And we pick the songs? Yeah. Cool. Can? Sure. Sounds like yeah, your yeah, plan. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. you go. Sort it. Yeah, that's going to be a noisy one. This okay. is Uwe Chabosatu, two in yeah. one. I go. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, everyone we try to dig around and ask about you uh, had two things to say. Very nice things. And, ooh, she's garam. Garam? Mm. Who's so I have to change Garang? my questions because of that. Honestly, no, no, let me no. give you an example. Who's Garang? <laughs> you Garang. That's, no they, they, that's what they say. Who is so, they? We're not going to reveal our sources. Okay. So my original question, uh, one of my original questions was, you know, uh, you acted in Mechanic. You weren't very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, how did you even get the job? Mm-hmm. But then when everybody said you were Garang, so I changed it to, you're an amazing actress. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 did, you did so well. You won so many awards. By the way, congratulations on all your... Oh, Wow. You know, uh, I was just reading about the award that you just picked up. Um, this is um, this is the Asian Asian Academy Creative Awards Best Actress. That's amazing. Yeah, for Rain Town. That's but I'm rep- thank you. I'm representing Malaysia. So in December, mm. it's um, 11, 12 countries all Nervous. vying for. De- Nervous is not even there. I'm just completely on Mars at the moment. I'm out of space. Twelve countries. Yeah. That's, including that's Australia insane. and that's New insane. Zealand. So so you can imagine like there's all kinds of categories, 12 countries vying for all these categories. So it's like the Southeast Asia Emmys. Yeah. And it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. I mean, it's a huge, huge honor, but at the same time, the pressure mm-hmm. and the sleepless nights. But be- because it's great. I think people don't understand the pressure that nominees get, at least I'm talking mm-hmm. about my experience, where... You win and you represent your country, which is absolutely amazing. You don't get anything, but there's this recognition, which is wonderful. Right. But you know that three months down the line, there's this huge thing that's happening where everybody goes and it's in a big, huge auditorium and it's all very black tie, la, 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 la. You don't know the pressure that the nominees get because all you want to do is win. Mm Mm-hmm. For many reasons, for your country, for yourself, more importantly is for the roles that you're trying to push forward to your industry. Right. Like in my case, it's more roles for mature women who have lived through life, who can actually tell stories. Absolutely. Without having to act. It's yeah. just really being able to immerse yourself in a role and just, this is this is what this person's all about. Which is great. I, I think a lot of uh, uh, actresses, uh, once they reach a certain age and everybody just gives them the mom role or the grandmother role, yes. for example, right? Which I don't think should... I watched you in The Bridge. I hated you in The Bridge, Thank although you. I'm a fan. Thank you. But you played your part so well. I'm Thank like, you. oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Here she is again. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? But you know, that's what being an actor well, we, is. You've got to be able to push the buttons. You know exactly. I mean? and, and it's great that you're fighting for it because, you know, I, if if you're 50 or 60, it doesn't mean... I'm 62. Okay, I didn't ask your age, but no, I'm just... Yeah, I'm okay. proud you're, of that. Okay, you're 62. It doesn't mean you cannot have a leading role that... that Thank that's, you. That's not just a mother Thank or you. a grandmother. Thank right? you. Thank yeah. you. And that's what I'm always arguing. That's probably where the garang bit comes in because I probably. fight... Not fight. I argue. argue. I like to argue oh, like me. with okay. writers, producers, directors. I like to argue. Right. Because I'm just standing there and what are we here for then? Look, look, look at the immense talent from our Gen Z or whatever generation you refer mm-hmm. us mm-hmm. to. That now we've got all this wealth of information in us that we can tell stories. Why aren't you hiring these women? Absolutely. I'm not talking about me only. Mm-hmm. There's, Sophia Jane has just stepped back in. After oh, she has. Just stepped up. Right. I'm like, you go and do the work. Like, I've done my bit. You carry on. Right, you right. Know? I mean, the only movie of Sophia Jane we all know was that. Yes, that one. The Nasi Kang Kang. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> I went somewhere else. So, so, and now she's got her dipping her toe back in. Nice. Um, yeah, it's great because we need to have women of that age and that caliber to be able to pick up roles and stuff. Absolutely. Um, and, and, you know, it's... Unfortunately, sometimes it just falls on deaf ears because they're thinking about the audience. And I'm like, if you don't give them something, how are they supposed to appreciate it? There you go. Absolutely. You you, you cannot assume yeah, that no one's going to watch. Because... So you, that's why we in this Odegarang is because I'm putting my foot down going. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You can read lips and all. <laughs> yeah. Right. Absolutely. I mean, it's great that you're fighting for, for, for something like this, which which... I think at one point it just got lost because yeah. if you look at male characters, yes. you can be 70 yes. and still be yes. James Bond. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. But the moment you hit 35 and yes, a woman, that's uh, auntie. Yes. So yeah, which yes. is great. I uh, know, I completely agree anyway. What's your, what's your next biggest project? What are you looking forward to in this industry uh, for yourself as an, as, a, as, a, as an actress? What do you want to do? What do you want to play? What would be the ultimate for for you, for Susan Lancaster? There's two dreams now. Because I've pretty much played every single role that you can think of, including a eight year old woman with latex on my face and hobbling around. Oh, I'm, I'm, Seriously. What movie was it? It was that? fun. Uh, it was theatre and a oh, theater. series. It was theatre for Georgetown Festival mm-hmm. a couple of years ago and also a series directed by Rashid Sibe, which I had a lot of fun mm-hmm. doing because it's, again, a completely different physicality of how right. you walk, behave, and everything. And with this on, you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, okay, I can see myself what I look like when I'm 70. Right. And you go into that mindset. So that's called character acting. Or yes, 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 yes. Right. Okay. So that's, that's because, so I was just saying that I've done so many roles. <laughs> Have you ever watched Silence of the Land? <laughs> I would like to be Hannibal Lecter. Wow. That's like a, that's, yeah. That's a huge that's a, MF, <laughs> you know? Yes, exactly. Like, can you imagine? Because Jodie Foster's role, also awesome. <laughs> but I want to be on that side where you go into that mindset. But I read somewhere that it kind of drove you. Messes up, you, yeah. Yeah, up yeah, yeah. Because he's very like, yeah. go in there. And then when you, it, it happens a lot, actually. People don't realize when you give uh, people particular roles and those who are really dedicated <laughs> They do their research and everything and irrelevant of whatever you call it and whatever famous co- uh, coach has, they use their names like Stanislavski or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Don't throw those names at me. It's just that if you do your homework and you go in and you find that dark space, sometimes it's really hard to come to out. Come out, yeah. Because exactly. I can tell you that there was one time in a play that we did called Psychosis, Mm-hmm. 488 Psychosis, mm-hmm. Dire- Gavin, Yum dire- uh, Gavin Yum directed me, okay. Samantha Schubert, and Malik Taufik. Right. That's and it's a- I haven't heard it in a while, Samantha Schubert. Well, she's passed away, right? Oh, my gosh. Where was I? I'm so sorry. Five five years ago, I think, Sammy passed. Anyway, that's another story. Wow, okay. Um, one of my really good friends. Yeah. Again, it's cancer, right? Yeah. So we did this for theatre, and, and it's a story about a person who's planning her suicide. That is tough. That is... So the three of us play different facets of this character. 
So it took us about, we did about one and a half to two months of rehearsals mm -hmm. before we performed it in KL Pack. Mm -hmm. It was really good crowd because people were like, that, at that time, there's nothing so dark and the way right. they performed it. Correct. So we're almost like the same character, but different facets. When we wrapped after a week of performance, it took us about a month to really... Reset. Yeah. We would be standing on our balconies or whatever crying because we were thinking of the dialogue and the situation. It was that ingrained into us. That so I'm just saying... scary, yo. Yeah. yeah. So, so this, is, this is the process that sometimes people don't understand those who really love right. what they do. And they go in there because they want to do the best performance ever. Mm -hmm. And it takes a lot out of them. I'm sure it does. I mean, look at let's just let's just go with something more commercial like Batman. Okay. The Joker, Heath Ledger. Yeah. Heath Ledger. Right? When 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 the Joker appeared, everyone everyone thought, oh, it's, it's gonna be the same old type Joker. And then Heath Ledger did what he did. Yeah. But he had to to embrace that character. He had, yes. He had to I don't know what you call it, but um, so much so that, that after what happened to him, yeah. a lot of people say it was because of that role yeah. that took him to that next level. Yeah. He was already on the verge, yeah. but, but when he played that character... Yeah, pushed him. Yeah, that pushed him. It's insane. I think people who are suicidal, it, it, it's, um, it takes something very small. Mm just to be able to push them over. And it's unfortunate that he didn't have the right people around him mm. to watch over him. Um, anyway, going yes, to get out of that. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> um, the other dream <laughs> Hannibal is... Hannibal Lecter, wow. Okay. Yeah, so Hannibal Lecter, because I thought it was... Anthony Hopkins is already incredible. It's but insane, yeah. In that role, and the way he's just his face in this tone, and where he looks at her... Yeah, he does it. Oh my God! I want to do something like that. Everything was here, which is technically what acting is. It should, right. the camera should just go in, and you should be able to tell everything like that. Just there, right? Yeah. Oh man, that'd be awesome. So that's one dream, and the other dream is actually before I really retire is I'd love to direct. I but think I would be a good actor's director. I'm not tooting my horn, right? I think I would be a good actor's director. I just need to get a really good DOP who understands mm -hmm. my insane mm -hmm. mindset, mm -hmm. and then I'm like, you can you worry about your shots we'll mm -hmm. discuss everything you worry about setting up the frames mm -hmm. i need to go work with my actors but i read somewhere that you produce you direct you yeah yeah, yeah. you do all of these things right more for theater more for theater but right. i do short films produce right. stuff like that Derek. but that's there's really not much you can do in 10 minutes yeah i'm talking yeah. about as in not a necessarily full, a, long form right. but like at least even if it's series but a short series like maybe eight, eight you episodes. want a really big challenge Try directing me. See, this is how I'm trying to get myself in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well. We could always know. do like a lone yeah, DJ. I could fall off a building and go, oh, no, no, that no. could be my scene. It could be a story about a DJ who goes around, you know, doing a pop-up mm -hmm. music thing everywhere. All travel. It's a traveling thing around Malaysia. You see, now, this is the clip that I'm going to be playing over and over again. Yeah, you have to write it, though. There you, you can go. mention. Yeah. You know, in those days, we used to have mobile discos. Absolutely. So there yeah. you go. A mobile disco. Mobile What's disc the reason behind though? Why does he do that? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the reason. There you go. Sell it to your bosses here and let's see whether we can do a telly movie. There you go. Sorted. Yeah, and sorted. Okay, let's go for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. Directing is 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 the next thing you're, you're I looking at. I would love to. A full-on full on yeah. movie. Right. Well, whatever. But... It's got to be obviously something that that would interest what me. Kind of, what kind of a script would would interest you? What what are you looking at? Um, is it a drama? Is it an action type movie? What do you think would be challenging? Is, is it is it Silence of the Lambs type movie? No, because I want to be in. Yeah, it. you want to be yeah the female version of yeah. Animal Lecter. Actually, it's anything. It just the backstory needs to call to me, and then it's interesting because it's. I got a title for you. Okay, Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal Lecter. Eh? <laughs> okay yeah got it all right yeah we but, can that one has to go on tiktok or something <laughs> definitely not for air no yeah what what kind of movie you think you you'd like to direct i think f uh action would be something where i need to hone it a bit more mm -hmm. because uh camera shots and everything take a lot more time it's it's planning for sure, yeah, for sure. so definitely it would be drama right 
Um, and a lot of people don't realize that you get a script and it's all there and it's the, the mild directions are all written there and the dialogue is there and everything. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the audience don't realize that we create our own backstory for the character so that it gives us impetus right. for why we behave and say things as such. And that's where I think there's a lot of cases where it doesn't happen and when I... And again, I'm not tooting my horn and not mm. being garang. No, 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 no. I no. request. She's so nice. That what garang, garang? Like mana, you? mana character breakdown. Mm. Abadiaga. <laughs> character breakdown, dude. That can't that the character. Ah, uh, get Oh gosh, that's when they get it. Yeah. No, I just say saya perlukan so that saya can faham what is it that you need. Correct. What is this character? So if it's just a me, mm. it's okay. Like you can find. Someone who'd really appreciate it. It's again. I'm not tooting my horn. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, need to be interested. Mm -hmm. I mean, you need to do what you need to do to get. I mean, you did what you had to do to get this far. So you know, I I guess everyone's got their standards. Everyone's got got you know, uh, their requirements. Everyone's got the reason why they need certain things. Do you know, yeah? Do, but do you know why I do that as well? Yeah. It's so that we create a path. Mm. For the juniors up and coming, mm. that this is all prepared for them. Right, right. We can't just be lazy. <laughs> Absolutely. You call someone for casting, the shoot is tomorrow and you're calling them today. Mm. Are you free? I'm not, are you serious? Are you serious? You had that happen yeah. To you? Wow. A lot of us have because right. other people have dropped out or something has happened and they need to really fill up the Unless role. Unless you're really desperate for the role and money, yeah. you'd say yes, right? Yeah. Wow. I mean, who isn't desperate for money for yeah. that sex? But the thing is, is that if us seniors can't pave the way in a positive manner for the juniors, then what are we here for? Yep. You know, it's like when you call someone for a role, please prepare character breakdown. Please at least give a synopsis of each episode for what this is happening to this character. Right. They say script belum siap lagi. That too. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Now I understand why you're garang. But it's it's not garang. Yeah. It's me just it, requesting. Like, correct. Come on, dear. Correct. And of course, I'm getting to them, and they have no clue because there's all this. The hierarchy is insane in a production company. So he's just probably one. He or she is just one small pawn mm -hmm. while the rest of them are playing chess somewhere else right so they're probably all kazus and garang gila but actually no i'm actually i'm just requesting what for what i need you guys and even with whatever nowadays i'm just like you guys need to have character breakdowns just don't be lazy mm. create it right give it to your car so at least then they they can decide whether they want to do the role and they can prepare mm. make some better actors absolutely that's really what it is. It's a process. That's all. So tell us about the drama ring down. I watched uh, the trailer. Uh, the trailer. It looked amazing. Thank uh, you. I have not watched any episodes yet. It's a film. There's it's no a film. Episodes. Oh, okay, great. See, I didn't even know that. I'm gonna kill. Uh, you. I, I know, right? I am sorry. Why am I here? Uh, exactly. But I wanted to talk to you about that. Okay. Because that's what's making a lot of noise this this year. Uh, you know, everyone's talking about it, and they say, oh. Susan Lancaster speaks in Cantonese. Yeah. You, you speak fluent Cantonese? No, I don't. I, well, I thought I did. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when I found out and when I had a, a dialect coach, obviously, it was horrible. My really? accent was going all over the place. I'm half Chinese, mm -hmm. um, obviously, but I've always learned Cantonese by hearing it without really knowing the inflections properly. I hear and I mimic. I right. parrot. Really? So I managed to get away with all kinds of stuff. So in the in in Raindown, you did the same. No, we had a a, a, a coach. dialect coach. Yes, right. On set and even during rehearsals, because all of us, Chukin Ward, Fabian Liu, uh, Pauline Tan, mm. and Wilson Lee, and myself, mm. I didn't realize that we're from all different states. Right. We all speak in different accents. It's so cool to find out. Wow. Yeah. So then, so uh, Sky, who is our dialect coach, um, would literally fine tune all of us. Me the most, of course. But right. Even the others, sometimes they'd go slightly off, and she like, no, no, no. It's actually like this. And this in Cantonese. Cantonese is the hardest dialect to yeah. learn because the inflections on one word the is <laughs> yeah. It has the most. Apparently, has seven or eight. Wow. Then the other like. Hokkien, Mandarin, right, whatever. Right. So, so like, he's trying to get all of you all to sound she, like... Uh, she, yeah. He's trying to get all of you all to sound 
like yes. one family yes. from the same place, yes. from Taiping. Yes. That must have been tough. Oh, it was a lot of fun because she'd be like, especially on, uh, uh, mostly with me uh, on on set because uh, with dialogue and everything, and I have to think of also like, how am I pronouncing this and everything? It's almost like singing. Mm-hmm, right? mm-hmm. Uh, and then you're in a role and it's an emotional role. It's a really good scene. Tunku Mona, my director, is like, okay, cut, seven. And Sky goes, no, 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 no. Susan went off. Oh, God, do it again. Do it again. Oh, man. And then I have to go back into that set again, mindset again. Mindset again. And it takes a lot of, but you know what? We did it. And I must say, the crew was so patient and they were literally like, in the scenes with us, if you get what I mean, yeah. it's like, especially those emotional, heavy scenes, yeah. quiet, watching. It's almost willing us to do really well. It's like they were with us wow. in spirit. It was wonderful. Wow. Really, really cool. Really cool. So, okay. Uh, give me a line in Cantonese. I'm not going to ask you to sing, but give me one full line in Cantonese. Any line, because I, I think I know Cantonese. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. Jingan sing on park in Jolang on the Sekan. Eh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like fun, I know. Yes. Uh, I don't know what else you said. I just said after this show, we should go for lunch. There you go. Yeah. But that sounded so real. You Thank something, you. You, you know. So, this is with practice, you see, but people don't. So people are like, my God, she speaks Cantonese. Mm. Uh, and the reason, the reason why Mona picked me, uh, which was like really an off chance because she'd already auditioned some amazing mm-hmm authentic Chinese actresses who then she wouldn't have had any issues whatsoever. Yep. But I think as it is with me, my life, my journey in this industry has always been like that. Yeah. I'm always the one that suddenly is like, it, 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 it break, stop, reverse. Right. How about her? That okay. kind of thing. And then she called me in and it was during the pandemic. We were doing, but you're uh, a fantastic actress. Thanks, mate. No, you are. I, I you work know? very hard. I know you do. I know you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing this till now. You'd yeah. probably be doing something else. I know you run. You I you run waka a waka waka. Waka waka. <laughs> but you run a, a small design company as well. A wee one, yeah. Okay. I guess by now, if you were not into acting, that'd be a big company. Who knows? No, I like uh, doing things in a small scale. It's oh, more, really? It's more interesting. Oh, you like them small. Yeah. Let's not go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, yeah. please tell tell everyone, including me, uh, please. I'm very ashamed that I've not watched it yet. Oh, give us, give us, give us the synopsis of this of this movie. So Rain Town um, is about this typical patriarchic Chinese family in mm. Taiping, mm-hmm. and it's a typical Asian setting where father knows best, mm. husband knows best, mm-hmm. and everybody else has to listen to him. But the root is the mother. Okay. The one that the kids all go to at the end of the day is to the mother. So typical Asian. Because they can't talk to the father, right? You just just one. And then there's a relationship with the husband and the wife as well. And she she one day feels a bit weird and everything decides to go to check up. And uh, she finds out that she has stage three breast cancer. Right. And that's when things go downhill. Downhill, and the story gets. That's to me. That's when things kick in. Mm. Uh, and then you see these wonderful, talented young actors, and of course Kinwa as well, mm. just show what they're made of, you know. Um, and on the big screen, you can't lie. Mm-hmm. And you just watch them, and you just go, "Yeah, we've got a good." younger generation, we need to take care of them, make sure that, you know, that the industry goes somewhere instead of right. the way it is now. It's a bit wobbly, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I watched the trailer. It was intense. Do you know we had a really good DOP, Eric mm-hmm. Young? Eric Young. Young, okay. Such a good DOP. Mm-hmm. Very good. Uh, yeah. Been in the industry a long time. Yeah, he's commercial. Oh. Just like Mona's commercial mm-hmm. as well. So their eye is a bit more... Detailed okay. from wide shots, they love their big scenes, right? Right. Uh, but even when it was going in for the intimate scenes and everything, um, we didn't use makeup. Wow. My gray hair all was out there for show. In fact, I probably added more gray now than 
one and a half, two years ago, but, right. and he would like get the long lens and push in. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> enough, like, enough. You yeah. know, like really close out. And I've right. got like freckles and pigmentation and scars. But he wanted that to show. Mona wanted that to show this is what it's all about. Mm. You see a character, you don't see flaws. This makes a character's face. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. I don't care. It's like, you know. Yeah. It's enough of scenes where a woman's woken up and she's still got mascara and full yes. on face pack. I'm like, what is that? Yeah. And then you turn around and you give your husband a big fat kiss. I'm like, not really? first thing in the morning. Not first thing in the morning. Stop lying. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, that's where it doesn't make sense. And unfortunately, there are certain channels here that think it's fine. But I'm, yeah. no, it's not. Yeah. You know, but but that's irrelevant. So to each their own. But for us, it was all about this is reality. We may try to make it as real as possible. And I really love that because I think as a performer, as a, an entertainer, as an actor, we cannot be afraid. What we do is a vessel. We tell stories. So mm -hmm. I have scars all over my face because of an accident that I had that I've never fixed. Mm -hmm. And I believe... <laughs> I'm just trying to see the scars on your face. I have. Can you see that? Can you see oh, that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it goes all the way up here. What? I cracked my skull open, but anyway, that's that's probably why I'm a little bit... What <laughs> <laughs> in the world? That's anyway, a... Yeah. That's a good scar, though. It's a good scar. Wow. And there's other parts, but anyway... Um, but I've always thought that what you can give to make the character more relatable is this. Mm. You know? It's true. I understand. I mean, my father, old school, mm. he will come in. Whenever I go visit him, he'll tell me, Shivla, lose some weight. I said, no, I am who I am. You know? Mm. I've been like this all yeah, my life. Yeah. People know me for who I am. Why would I? When I did TV mm. for the shortest time, mm. I refused to wear makeup. Mm -hmm. And I was forced to wear makeup. Mm -hmm. It's like a cake on your face, mm. right? And then the tones don't match with the, the tones lights. The don't on. match because they only got makeup for fair people. <laughs> so I had to go buy my own makeup. I'm oh, not kidding. Man. I walked into this this store. I'm not giving the brand away. And the guy said, are you shy? I said, yeah. He shut the store for me oh, to wow. find my right tone. Blessed. Yes. And so I had my... But, you know, after a while, I, I, I kind of minimized it, minimized it. No more... Mm, what you see is what you get. So nowadays it's actually like really that. good because they just do, like for guys, they mm. just do a, do a light dusting so you don't That's shine. Shine like That's this, it. yeah. That's it. Wow, cool. Susan, yeah. we're running out of time. No way. Yes, way. Oh, man. I know, right? Uh, so many stories. Unreal. Yeah. You know, I saw this going a whole different way. Yeah. This is the second time it's happened. It's just gone completely left field. Yeah, with me, it's always like, <laughs> Gostan, good job. Okay, let's go. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. But thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for spending time with me in the Red Room. You're most welcome. I really enjoyed it. I wow. wish more <clears throat> chats were like this, actually. If there's one thing you want to say to up-and-coming actors, directors, being in the industry for the longest time, uh, what would that be? Please be kind to each other. It's an industry that needs to have everybody working together. No bullies on set, please. Right. See, um, go look her up on the internet. You'll find all sorts of stories about her. But there's one thing you always see keep coming back is the fact that she hates bullies. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I think it's amazing you doing what you're doing. Thank you. Uh, keep doing that. And remember, garang doesn't mean garang. Garang means just setting the standards, getting what needs to be done, done. Absolutely. Get it done. Thank you. Thank All you right. very much. Until the next episode, this is Fat Fames, The Red Room.